you, a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this Vegas tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this really cool RGB base shake effect. Now you can use this on montages, slow motion shots, basically anything that you're doing, for example, like gaming montages when you make a kill. It kind of comes down as, for example, like velocity, but a little bit more with like this RGB twist is gonna be really, really cool. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. I would say, let's get started with this video, of course, right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 and I have this really, really cool clip of this drifting car. So there are basically two things that we're going to need to do, which is going to be inserting this RGB on the beat of the music and also this zooming in. But we're going to do that in separate parts because it's just way, way easier. OK, so the first thing that I have inserted is this track by LVX, which is called Sabbath. So first, we're going to go ahead and line up this clip so make sure that it is nice and synchronized. All right, so I'm going to only do a little chunk of it because, of course, once you guys know how this works, you can actually go ahead and implement this into your montages, your travel videos, your vlogs, whatever you guys are making. So the first thing that we actually need to do is we need to actually make cuts on the bass drums when that in that song. So how that essentially works is we're going to make sure that our track of the drifting or the, well, just the car is actually highlighted. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play back the music and we're going to press S every time when a kick drum happens. So so we know that it is cutted and we can make these RGB, you know, effect this cyan and this red effect onto the clip on the music. So it's nice and it's synchronized. And then we're going to do that also for the zooming in part later on. So let's go ahead and start cutting on the music. All right, so now as you can see, we made a couple cuts. So each of these jump cuts where it starts, that is actually where the kick drum happens. So now, of course, we're not, we have like this huge chunk. And if I select it all, as you can see, this takes like one second and the kick drum is only just one certain hit. So that's the first thing that we need to do is we're not going to apply the stereoscopic 3D adjust, aka the other kind of effect, which is the sign and the red one onto this entire clip. It's way too long. So what we're going to do is once we made every single cut, we're going to go one, to three frames further just to make sure that we will have around the same length as the kick trim sound so right here we're going to do that then we're going to go to the next jump cut we're going to go one two three frames further go to the next cut one two three then we're going to press s to split it or cut it then one two three go to the next cut and then also on the last one one two three like that okay so now that we have made the cuts it is time to actually implement and apply these you know rgb effects on it now the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to the video effects tab on the left and then you need to type in stereoscopic and there it is 3d adjust then we're gonna click on the default and we're gonna drag that onto these tiny bits that we just cut it that are three frames long now i want to mention that if you click on it and if you're gonna mess with this marker nothing happens it's just gonna zoom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the project video properties for a second and we're gonna make sure that we put the mode of the stereoscopic 3d we're gonna put that one to red and cyan which is of course needed if you want to see these colors so we're going to click on that if you click on apply click on okay right now as you can see if i drag this marker to the right we will create this really really cool rgb effect now i would actually recommend to put this one from zero to 0 0.0300 as you can see that looks really really cool and that is how you can also save this preset let's say that we're going to give this a name for example 3d then we're going to hit this diskette icon that's going to save our preset so you don't have to go ahead and manually do this every single time and mark the slider so what we can do is just go to this next clip of the three frames and drag on your 3D template onto these really, really short bits. So this is the next one. Drag on your 3D 
preset on there so it just saves a lot more time and you don't need to go ahead and just do that with a marker every single time especially if you're going to do this in a long clip that's going to consume so much time so that's what we're going to do right now so all right so let's go ahead and play it back and let's see what we made so far All right, that looks really, really cool, and it is actually synchronized on the music. So now the final thing that we need to do is go ahead and make these zooms. Now what I can do is just go to this one, which is the event pan crop icon of all the clips, and we need to work with keyframes, meaning that we're gonna start off right here. So we're gonna first check how long this clip is. It is actually one, two, three, four frames long. So I'm just going to go one frame further. Then I'm going to just make this zoom in right under the black bars. Then I'm going to move up one frame. I'm just going to create another keyframe. And then for the last one, we're going to hit restore. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it zooms in really, really quick. And that's how you can do it for the rest of the clips. So let's go to the event pan crop of the next one. Go one frame further, zoom in under the black bars. Go one frame further, then click on create a new keyframe. So we keep this aspect ratio. And then we can go to the last one and then we can hit restore to zoom out again. And that's how you can create these really, really quick zooms. So let's go ahead and do that for the next one. Go one frame further, zoom all the way in. Go one frame further, create a new keyframe at the very bottom and then on the last one at the very end of the timeline restore and then we're going to do that for the remaining clips as well all right so now that we've done that this is basically what the end result looks like Alright guys, so that is what it looks like and this is how you can create these really really cool RGB base shake effects on basically any clips that you have. So there's nothing more to it, just make sure that if you go to your project video properties that this stereoscopic 3D mode is set to red and cyan because of course otherwise you won't be able to see anything. And for example adding then these zooms, it is really really simple using keyframes and there's nothing more to it actually. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Now you guys know how to create this really really cool RGB base shake effect in Vegas. 18 so if you want to request a tutorial make sure to let me know down in the comments what you would like to see thanks a lot for the continued support and i'll see you guys obviously in the next one